Hello and happy Monday, friends. So I'm going to tell you what. When I approached this video today, I have been doing a lot of projects, a lot of classes, a lot of filming, a lot of creating for things that aren't necessarily just for fun. So today's video is just that, for fun. And one of the things that I enjoy um, when it comes to just like having fun, not worrying about if there is going to be a finished product, like no composition thought and play, etc., um, is just a collage. Just getting those papers, those scraps, those things that we love so much, and just really exploring how it feels when you glue them down on the paper. Now, these beautiful, vintage um, patinaed uh, file folders that I'm using here actually was sent to me by one of my followers, and so thank you very much. They are really good as far as like a substrate, and I love that they have a tab on them. Where the actual collages that I do today will end up, I'm not really sure, but you know what? I had to keep telling myself, Tiffany, you don't have to think about the composition of it. Just put the stuff down and let it go girl so uh, you will see that I'm just really making some gut decisions when I put something down I'm just seeing how does it sit with me how does it uh, make me feel whenever I put those textures down and I'm simply just using a Uhu glue stick to apply these uh, collage layers onto this uh, folder so um, if you you know maybe you need to just let loose to just uh, free freedom is found um, in the collage for me so I hope that this inspires you to grab your glue stick to grab some of those papers that you have and just start gluing it down and random places now I will tell you that my only real like concentration and, and uh, thought was how does this make me feel whenever I am gluing it now I am gonna play a little bit with color um, and line work here but I'm simply uh, once we get down into the video but I'm simply just asking myself like how does it feel when I'm gluing this how does it feel with those textures what is my just kind of my love language with these uh, papers like what's going on here and so I love this wallpaper this was sent to me for Mariana and sometimes I do remember exactly um, who sent me random pieces. That's kind of weird, huh? So this was actually a piece of packaging, I think, that I had used to clean up some ink. And it still even has a piece of tape stuck on it, but I was okay with that. And I also kind of liked the texture with it all crinkled up. So I'm just really honoring that, um, what feels good, and going with the flow. I'm going in and just making some scribbles and um, just allowing that energy to take me where it wants to take me. And then I had a paintbrush that had a little bit of watered uh, down gesso on it and I thought oh I'm really liking the energy that this water it, introducing it to the art is uh, feeling good so let's go for it. So if you've been like me and just kind of feel pressure to uh, do all the things then cut loose with me. I would love for you to just explore and remember art should be fun. That's what I would keep telling myself as I'm having to do all of these things for certain deadlines and I am thankful um never never think that me talking about that means that I am not grateful for the opportunities that I have have passed to me I absolutely am but sometimes it feels like 
I'm creating for the sake of classes, not necessarily for the sake of making Tiff happy. So that's always just an opportunity to stop and smell the roses. So I'm going in with this mustard and I'm really just like one of the things I'm thinking about is do I really like it with that teal color? Do I want to mute it down a little bit? I'm using this uh, a silicone um, catalyst tool just to kind of uh, scrape and I really like how it feels to scrape paint across um, the textures of that paper. It feels really good to me. And then, of course, I can never go wrong with the little scribbles. And I'm actually switching gears here. And uh, this is something that I do often is I kind of use um, different uh, weight on my hand with different mark making tools. So if it feels heavy like lighten it up and see how that feels a little more delicate and then I'm going in with some instant coffee that I have over here in a jar mixing it with a little bit of that uh, milky white paint just to see you know that's how you find out things that you really enjoy is simply by playing and then I'm going to go in here with some lighter blue to see um, and this one, I can't remember. I don't think I put any collage on it or maybe, oh, I do go back and put a little bit of fabric collage on this one, I think. Something about those scribbly marks just transports me back to my childhood. And just feeling that delicate pencil mark, like being really light. You can see how far I am back on my pencil. And then um, today is actually um, a new class that I have launching called Transformations. If you did not see that, today is the last day for the promo pricing. It is an altered book collage style um, class that um, is actually on Renee Mueller's uh, website. And so I am so excited to see all of the amazing things. That's one of the things I really love about classes is uh, just seeing how everyone receives the information and the energy of the class. Uh, it just really is so awesome to, and it always inspires me to see what other people are creating too, you know? And so this is going to be my earth dyed washi. Um, here I had to talk myself out of thinking through composition wise and just say, Tiffany, if it feels good, put it on the page. Like, stop thinking, girl. And so uh, I even have those self-talks. I know people think that I don't, but I have to have that self-talk with myself as well. And then um, I am going in here with this black, black gesso. And I really, really, for me and like things, when I see artwork, I love the contrast of, um, I really like that contrast of really heavy, dark lines, um, or like really darkness with stark contrast of, of the other, um, of the other images and collage here so I like those heavy lines like that so I may come back you know depending on where this now this was when I did something and it didn't feel good so what I'm going to do is that red or burgundy magenta whatever color that was I did not like how that felt so I'm going to cover it up with a piece of collage this is a more neutral color and now it felt much better to me. But it just didn't feel good. And then I'm going to just splat that coffee right there. Going to set it to the side and let it do its own thing. But yeah, I may go back with these, uh, these pieces and add more to it. 
I may end up putting them in a journal. Uh, this is from my friend Tiffany. She sends me the most amazing things. Oh my gosh. So much good vintage goodness. Uh, hey Tiff. <laughs> She actually was at the flea market this weekend and uh, FaceTimed me so I could pick stuff out. Man, I have the best friends. So, uh, this is one of her granddad's, I think, one of his college papers or something. So, um, I decided to do a little, a little grunging up with the coffee there. And it already had this uh, masking tape that was on it. And it was just kind of dribbled across it. And I was trying to decide if I wanted to cover it up. But I love everything about this just as it is. And so I decided, I'm pretty sure I decided just to let it be. Just to let it dry a little bit. That coffee to dry a little. And then kind of just smush it and pick it up. I try a few different things here just to see if I feel the need to glue anything else down. So I let them all dry a little bit and then I come back um, with the coffee because the coffee had dried just a little bit but I like to pick it up once it's a little bit dry and just you kind of get this like little... I don't know, recess of the puddle there that's just really dark and delicious. And so I hope that all of you are having, and I decided to, to split this one right down the middle because I felt like it felt like two separate pages. So I hope that you are all having a beautiful and amazing uh, Monday and that uh, you have a great week and if you celebrate uh, Easter I hope you had a good Easter and I look forward to seeing all of your messy random collages uh, if you feel like you want to do it remember I do have my own hashtag it's hashtag Tiff made me do it so that I can see your artwork I love seeing your art it inspires me so very much I always love and appreciate and do you see the face right here I had to ignore it. I was like, nope, I'm not worried about focals today. I'm not worried about completing anything. I'm just going with the gut. So I hope that this has encouraged you to play and enjoy all of those beautiful supplies that you have and make a great big old mess. And if you'd like to know more information about that class I spoke about, transformations, then make sure you click on the description box and you will see it down there. And until next time, y'all, to live.